Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. We begin with Allah's blessed name. We praise Him and we glorify Him as He ought to be praised and glorified. And we pray for peace and for blessings on all His noble messengers and in particular on the last of them all, the blessed Prophet Muhammad. Allah's blessings be upon Him as we greet you from my sitting room here in the Caribbean island of Trinidad on this the 12th day of the month of Rabi Awal of 1444 with Assalamu Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh a greeting of peace and our short address is entitled the sun is no longer rising from the west Allah tells us in the Quran that the sun rises from the east that's right and uh, our father Abraham, Nabi Ibrahim alayhi salam, challenged the king who would not submit to the truth. Why don't you cause it to rise from the west? <laughs> yes, because the sunrise ordained by Allah is from the east. And the sunrise of those who are challenging the order created by Allah would be a sunrise from the west. And this is what our Prophet, Allah's blessings be upon him, prophesied. And remember that in these prophecies, there are those which are to be understood literally, like that the son of Mary will return, the true Messiah will return. This is literal, that he will come back in flesh and blood. But there are other prophecies which have to be interpreted, ta'wil. And this is why Allah sent Surah Al-Kaf of the Qur'an and He gave us Khidr alayhi salam. I refer, refer to him when I teach the children as Mr. Green. <laughs> Khidr alayhi salam, who is the model of scholarship, the model of scholarship in the end time. My dear Christian brother, the scholar of the, of the gospel um, from Serbia, uh, who lives in France, uh, Brother Mika, he said to me, Sheikh, the, the model of Khidr is the same as the model of Jesus. Yes, the two are almost identical. And Khidr alayhi salam is the model of scholarship in Akhiru Zaman. Without him, you cannot understand Akhir uh, And what is particularly important, vitally important about Khidr is that he interprets events. He gives ta'weed or interpretation in Surah al kaf the three events, the boat, the boy, and the wall, conventional scholarship Darul Loom scholarship could not understand, could not explain these three events. But the scholarship of Khidr alayhi salam was able to interpret the wheel of the events. And so Surah al Kaf of the Quran is a wake up call for scholarship. That there are those parts of Surah of Akhiru Zaman of the end times which cannot be understood without interpretation. This is not Nostradamus prophesying the future, not at all. Be a little bit more charitable in your criticism. This is interpretation of the sacred text. We have a right to do. This is Mutesha Bihat. But when you make an interpretation of the sacred text, remember only Allah can confirm that you are correct. And so our Prophet Allah's blessing be upon him prophesied. One of the major signs of the last days is that the sun would rise from the west. There are those who are persuaded that this must be understood literally. We are not one of them. And we have no need for any boxing gloves. By boxing gloves, I mean debating a subject yeah, in an acrimonious way. Let them stay with their view that the sun is literally going to rise from the west. 
And when the sun rises from the west, the door of Toba is now closed. My understanding, this does apply to all of mankind. One people, the door of Toba will be closed for them. I don't need to mention who they are by identifying them. The door of Toba is now closed for them. And when the sun rises from the west, it would not be literal. It would be a false sunrise. And those <laughs> who have eyes to see would recognize this is a false sunrise which attempts to replace the true and the sacred sunrise. Many, many years ago, I recognized modern, those who control power in modern Western civilization, they represent the sun rising from the West. And that sun has been rising from the West for the last 300 years. But I'm making this video, I'm recording this video today in order to alert those who consider me to be a teacher, those who consider me to be rightly guided, to alert them, not the others who consider me to be misguided and they close, shut the doors of the masjid on me and so on. No, no, not them. I'm talking about those who, who, can say, who have respect for me and who consider my opinions and my views to be worthy of being examined. That the sun is rising, is, has been rising from the west for the last 300 years, and this is the ascendancy of a godless and decadent but exceptionally deceptive modern Western civilization which has imposed its bloody footprint upon mankind with a dictatorship, a political and economic and um, uh, a monetary dictatorship over mankind, forcing all of mankind to submit to them. And whoever does not sub submit is, is demonized as a rebel state. <laughs> that today it is time for me to say that the sun is no longer rising from the West. That long, long period of 300 years is now coming to an end. And yes, Ukraine is the turning point. Russia has been blessed by Allah. Those who, are belong, who belong to the Putin this and Putin that and Assad this and Assad that Jamaat who got the beating of their lives in Syria. Don't bother to even come to comment. Nobody listening to you. You're wasting your time. Go somewhere else. Leave us alone. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that Allah has blessed Russia. And Allah is blessing Russia. Russia has the best leadership of any state in the world today. The best leadership. And Allah is blessing Russia in this, in this conflict in Ukraine. And what has happened so far, and what is still to occur, indicates that the Western world has now reached stalemate. And uh, they are being checkmated. The sun is no longer rising from the West for them. And the, the long years of dominance over mankind is now coming to an end. We are witnessing the end of Western dominance over the world. This is also the second Karn of Karnain. When Allah spoke in the Quran, Karnain. It has to be interpreted. And Karn here is not a horn. Karn is a people, a generation, an epoch, a time in history. And so Karnain will be something that occurs twice in history. I have interpreted, I've explained it again and again and again and again. But those who have lost the capacity to think, they either cannot think or they don't want to think. They still remain blocked in this bogus field that Gog and Magog will only be released into the world at the time when Jesus returns, Nabi Isa
There is universal facade all over the world. And the facade is constantly increasing. Facade is corruption. Universal corruption and corruption which seeks to destroy. There is political facade. Look at Pakistan. There is economic facade. Look at all the poor countries in the world today and all the economic migrants going to the West. There is monetary facade. Anytime you step out of line, they attack your money and you're faced with runaway inflation. There is all kinds of facade in the world today. Universal facade. And only Gog and Magog can explain it. But what can I do? They would not listen. So there are going to be two currents. The first current was when Zulkarnain checkmated Gog and Magog behind a barrier. And there is going to be a second current. The barrier has to come down. It came down in the lifetime of the Prophet that was from. And Gog and Magog were released in the lifetime of the Prophet But there will be a second current when Gog and Magog will be contained for a second time. And this conflict in Ukraine that is playing out, it is unfolding in the world today. From the perspective of Islamic eschatology, we are witnessing the unfolding of the second current in Karnain. We know the end. We know what's going to happen. That at the end of the day, the Western world will be contained. They will be rendered harmless. They are un incapable of continuing their destruction of mankind. And Russia is taking them towards that end. And so, do not be despondent. Do not be despondent. Absolute truth in the Quran must prevail. Thank you. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.